Catching Radio. Well, coming up at Mandra, well, it's going to be held at Mandra on May the 21st. It's an incredible event, actually. Mark Regan is with the Space Brains Science Fiction Film Festival, and he joins us now to have a bit of a chat about it. Good afternoon to you, Mark. Hi, Jenny. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Hey, you were born to be a storyteller. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I have that connection, possibly, but I think there's a little bit of a... Yeah, there's always that difference of Regan and Reagan, I think. But, yeah, I'm here and I'm a filmmaker and we're getting super pumped up to unleash the best sci-fi across uh, WA and the world coming up in Mandra very soon. Well, you're very confident and it's fantastic. And is it Regan or Reagan? It is Regan. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> okay. Family history a couple of years ago and it is all the same. It's just more the Reagan was when it when they migrated more to the States, whereas in Australia it was more O-Regan, and then they dropped the O away. So, But, okay. it, but it does go all the way back to the same, I think. OK, we've worked that one out. Just about yourself, first of all, because this is setting up the credibility of what people can expect for this fantastic festival. Um, you are a filmmaker. Tell us a wee bit about the sort of feature films and scripts and things you're writing, and what have you managed to produce so far? So, yeah, I've, I've been in the film industry locally for the last 20 years. Um, mainly at the moment, it's been short films in terms of ones that have been produced. In the last couple of years, I've had a short film that featured at 15 international festivals and one or was sort of nominated for five awards out of those 15. Right. Uh, my recent film, which has just uh, gone on a 12-month festival strategy, has uh, been selected for the Paris uh, Cinema Awards, so it got nominated for Best Comedy. So I'm definitely heading down that path and I'm trying to build a career towards, you know, making the feature films. In the last five years as well, I've written three feature films and one of them was on the blacklist, which is a big feature script uh, listing in the States. And I've also had some strong feedback from like local uh, areas like Screen West and the Australian Directors Guild. Mark, that is very positive, and I tell you what, the WA film industry has got a great future. I've said that a few times, and, uh, you know, there's a film that's about to be released in the big cinemas, which I'm talking to, uh, just I'm trying to think now, one of the stars of the pro, of the film, uh, on Monday, uh, What Women Want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's a big one that's just been sold in the States as well. Yeah, so good. Yeah, that's very good for those producers. They've, they've managed to have that success, yeah. Well, you're to follow. There's no two ways about it, Mark, because you've really got an incredible history in what you've done and credibility, obviously, around the world. Now, science fiction, is that the path you're going to take or are you going to diversify? Uh, well, at the moment, I'm, my scripts and films tend to be based on like a theme that I want to explore. So in terms of genre, like that, the short film that won um, those five awards, that was actually quite a heavy psychological thriller. Whereas my recent one is actually like a comedy. So I'm sort of, when I'm writing my ideas, they do tend to be more about the actual story and I'm not too concerned about genre. Mm. So science fiction has been more, I think, just as a viewer, I really enjoy the world that science fiction can explore. You know, you can take those classic ones like Metropolis about robots. You can take Star Wars and we can go into space. Or you can really break it down into like, someone's mind and memory yeah. and that is the science element so and that space brains that's what we like to do and my partner Surrey he's more into the science aspect of sci-fi and I'm obviously more into the film aspect and so we sort of our two heads come together and we form space brains and we <laughs> enjoy discussing those major aspects of sci-fi well there's a huge following definitely yeah. Definitely, yeah. And if you look at the big shows on the streaming platforms, you know, sci-fi is leading. If you look at those big box office hits of, at the cinema, quite often they are actually a sci-fi yeah. film. It's surprising how large that genre is. Do you know, I find quite interesting when we look back, say, you know, two, what, three or four decades, I suppose, when you have the early television uh, shows about science fiction, I tell you what, a lot of it's pretty true now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and like Doctor Who, I mean, how great is Doctor Who, eh? <laughs> 
absolutely. What about the talking, you speaking to your watch and all that sort of thing, the yeah. get smart and everything? I mean, it's, it's quite amazing, incredible minds. This is terrific. Tell us about the um, actual event that's going to be held down at Mandra here. What, what, what have you organised? Yeah, so we've got a day of workshops around sci-fi. So we've got local, uh, internationally successful filmmaker Ben Young, and he made a big sci-fi film a couple of years ago, you know, a big Hollywood film called Extinction. So he's running a filmmaker workshop. We've got also local published sci-fi author and scriptwriter Amanda Bridgman. She's going to be doing a writer workshop, and she's just coming off doing a Marvel uh, book. Oh. And we've also got environmental scientist and author H.M. Ward doing a science workshop. So just what you were talking about, Jenny, that cutting-edge science, she's going to present... Um, a talk about that. And then us, Surrey and me, are going to do a podcasting workshop. So we're going to have that during the day and then it's going to come to a red carpet premiere event, oh, all the wow. glitz and glamour of sitting down and watching about 12 to 15 of the best local, uh, national and international short science fiction films. That is a heck of a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope it's going to be a great day and, you know, we're putting it out there and it's something that we would love to attend and we feel the creative industry in Perth, you know, wants these kind of events and hopefully, like, the Mandra community also kind of comes and supports it. Well, you graduated uh, from Edith Gowan University, in, uh, University, of course, in 2002 in Communications and Media and Film Studies. Are there still a lot of young people coming through doing those courses? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I, and I also spent um, the last, uh, up to last year, I was doing a lot of lecturing and teaching of that at Murdoch. And um, yeah, there's always a cohort of filmmakers coming through. And in fact, we have a couple of the selected films that are students. So one is from ECU, one is from Murdoch, and they're outstanding little science fiction films, really high calibre. Like you'd be surprised that students have made them, I think. Wow. We were. And um, it's just a powerful thing. And that's something that we really want to do at Space Brains is try to sort of encourage that next crop and give them an opportunity on the big screen. Well, it's go it's a great opportunity. It really is. All those people coming together to share their experiences with you. Mark, of course, with science fiction, big screen movies, you've got a heck of amount of effects, haven't you? Um, yeah. Are you able to do that now in a more simpler way with technology? Mm, yeah, definitely. I think technology can bring us, even the whole film thing, you know, you, we all walk around with these little powerful cameras now in our pocket, don't we, with the yeah. mobile. So you can you can even do that. And we had a couple of films submitted that uh, were, sorry, were shot on the mobile phone. And then they've just edited probably on like, you know, home laptops or, or computers. Uh, okay. When I was at ECU, it was, ECU had the four best film editing computers in the state at that point in time. Gosh. And now you can kind of edit video on these little supercomputers in our, in our pockets, the mobile phone. So, yeah, technology has come a long way. And then when you start talking about animation and those visual effects, there is a lot more of them available at your fingertips. Mark, with that happening, obviously we're not having to look at multi-billion dollar budgets uh, for mm. something to be successful. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it comes down to, I, I'm a big believer in the story. So the story, if the story is good enough, you don't need to worry about that, you know, hundred million dollar budget. You can, yeah. the audiences love a good story. We all love a good story and we follow that. We don't necessarily need all those whiz bang special effects. Well, of course, you would know too that they're planning, uh, planning of course, um, a film studio, um, Swan yeah. Valley, uh, which yeah. is another great big step for WA. And I think it's all come about, has it not, because of the closed borders over the past, past couple of years or the past couple of years, uh, yeah. that we have to start doing things on our own. And it's bringing out talent. And this, what you're doing, is going to create opportunities for more talent. Yeah, and, and what's great about that studio, and I really hope the state government goes ahead with it, is that it creates that like pipeline of work then you can you can attract those hollywood hundred million dollar budgets yeah and then you have the smaller budgets right down to you know independent filmmakers and that just creates a pipeline of work for the film industry you know everyone from costumes to makeup to yeah. hair you know your, your cinematographers etc and that's what's so good 
and why we really should invest in a studio system. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look, I'm sure they will. It's been talked about for far too long now. (laughs) Rhetoric is very cheap, but, you know, let's see it have happened. This is wonderful. How are people, if they're listening at the moment and are very interested uh, in what you're going to be doing on the day, how do they get in touch and get tickets and that sort of thing? Okay, so we're basically just, if you Google or head to our website, which is filmfestival.spacebrains.com.au, the tickets are being sold at Manpac, which is Mandra Performing Arts Centre, so you can look them up and go through their system. Or as I said, if you just look for spacebrains.com.au, you'll find all the information you need to know, and you can also find us on all the social media sites under Space Brains. All right, have you had a bit of interest thus far? Yeah, yeah, no, it's exciting. There's a lot of um, people in the in the film industry that are really keen to come to this. Yeah, that's great. I think the workshops are tailored for um, a real mix of, you know, people that are just interested to learn about those areas like podcasting, writing, filmmaking and science. It's very, very exciting and it's terrific that you've been involved with this long as well. Uh, to add to the experience for everybody, thank you, Mark, very, very much. It's spacebrains.com.au. Thank you very much for joining us and good luck for the future. Look out for your movies. Thanks, Jenny. Might get you in one one day. Whoa, huh? let's go for it. <laughs> thank you. See you, Mark. Thank you. Uh, Mark Regan joining us there. Cold Chisel.